A resource is basically a, a container for asynchronous data. It's going to have a premise resource, and that's going to be a resource. And a resource is a way to asynchronously fetch data in the signal architecture. And there are a few different fields that we can use. Default value, and I'm going to use our default premise here. A resource also has a request, and a request defines what this resource is looking at in order to know if it should up Update and make an asynchronous function call. We are going to look at a signal that we haven't defined yet, premise input. We also have a loader. This takes the request, calls an async function. Then we're going to call our endpoint that we set up. The GenKit beta library also has this really awesome method called run flow. And this is a way to just easily call these endpoints directly from your client application. I'm so happy that this exists. So we're just going to return our run flow method. It takes a URL description flow. It will also take input, user input. That will be our request, which is passed in from this premise input. So this will be the premise input signal that we haven't yet defined. We will also have a session ID, this.session ID, which we also haven't defined. And then clear session, which will be a Boolean. Let's just walk through what's happening here. Whenever this signal changes, we will call run flow with premise.input as the user input, session ID, and clear session. This is an asynchronous function call, whatever the value is, any other signals that are downstream from this resource automatically get those updates. So automatically update the state of those.